Welcome to the platform of the truth of the matter. We are reaching you from Biafra Television, London. Today, we are on Nnamdekano court case in Nigeria. Nnamdekano is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. He was arrested by the secret agents of Nigeria, the DSS, on the 14th of October, 2015. Since then, Nnam the Khan, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Nigerian court, the High Court of Nigeria, has ruled and gave the DSS order to release Nnam the Khan unconditionally. But the Nigerian government refused to do so. Even the magistrate court has acquitted and discharged Nnam the Khan. The same government of Buhari refused to obey court order. Justice Soho came, tried all he could to jail Nnamdekan unlawfully, but he couldn't succeed. He hands up the case and they ran away. Now Justice Bintanyako, on the 13th of December 2016, Justice Bintanyako ruled that Nnamdekan will be tried in secret. On January 12th, the same Justice Bita Nyako revised her ruling and the group that Nnamdekan will not be tried in secret. On the 20th of March, Justice Bita Nyako at it again, she ruled that Nnamdekan will be tried in secret under Sharia law. On the 6th of April 2017, Justice Binta Nyako had joined the case to 25th of April 2017. So the truth of the matter is going to discuss on this particular issue to let the world know that Nnam the the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, his case should be a case of self-determination not a religious case. Mr. James also wrote So in the case of Nnam the Kana, the shenanigans of Nigerian judiciary, the late Sharia law, and so on. So, can you tell our audience point of view in the case of Nnam the Kana, in regards to what is happening right now? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, it is very, very disheartening that justice is being denied to the common people in Nigeria. The snail tactics of Nigerian judiciary to discharge their duties and to give justice to whom justice is due is alarming. Right? So the Nigerian judicial system has applied the snail court proceedings in Maze Nandekan, the leader of the just people of Biafra case, which is not good at all and is against the human right and it's against the court proceedings. Um, talking about a uh, um, secret trial and as well as putting Sharia law on a, a civil case is something I can describe as a um, court the, so that, the, the crazy thing that a, a judge of a high court like the Justice Vita Nyakov will rule from the high court to Sharia court. It's, it's a court disorder. It has no room in any civil matters. Sharia law has no room in any civil matters. I want to bring your mind to the constitution of Nigeria. It says Sharia law in this very constitution has to do with religion and marriages and disputes between people of the same religion 
And I, I see no reason why they are going to bring in Sharia law into a civil matter of this kind. I see no reason why Justice Binta Nyako will be doing the same thing which Justice Soho did in the past that made him to answer the case. And he failed. And he failed. Mm -hmm. Now Binta Nyako came and she took over the case. The same music that was playing in the time of Justice Soho is also the music Justice Binta Nyako is dancing and playing now in the court, in the High Court of Nigeria. And come to think of it, in every case of the leader of the Nigerian people of Biafra, there must be one thing that you will discover there, which is against human right. One, I've not seen in any court, in any civil court, that they will send away the journalists from coming into the court. I've not seen in any court of the world, even the Sharia, that they will send away observers in a court. I've not seen in any court in the whole world, religious or non-religious, that people will come to observe and they say, no, people are coming to observe in a civil matter. You send them away. The journalists who come to observe, to report on what they see in the very um, case, you keep them away and they begin to bully them and begin to treat them as if they are animals. That is what is happening in Nigerian court. And that is what Justice Vinta Nyako, just in the recent case, approved that there will be no journalists in the court and none the canon should be tried secretly, not only tried secretly, but through Sharia law. So I don't um, so, really so, understand. So the question is, we are asking Justice Peter Nyako, what brought Sharia law in a civil case um, of Nandekan? If you look at the whole thing, this is a case of self-determination. And a case of self-determination should be treated um, in a civil way, not in a religious way. Of course. So now, in the case of Iman, we are asking Justice Pinta Nyako, that is a, what brought Sharia to the High Court of Nigeria? That is a very unique question. Do you know, I want to make you understand this, that um, which is uh, Nigerian government, which is um, Buhari's government, mm. they are looking for a way to Islamize the Biafrans and um, the secret of what they are doing now is when they get Biafrans arrested mm -hmm. they will keep them under the custody of the SSS or the DSS as the case may be yes. and then they will torture them when they torture them they will go and promise them heaven and earth to be converted into Islam a lot of people have been converted in here, if you don't know. A lot have been converted into Islam in the secret cells of the DSS. And uh, Justice Victor Nyako may have thought that when Namdekano was under there, he may have been converted into a Muslim. That's why he said, okay, now he's a Muslim. Maybe let us give him uh, a Sharia a secret trial so we can convict him and kill him of, or uh, jail him. You can see. If, if, if not that, how can a same judge who studied law, who knows the principles of law, who knows the rules of law, will shift from the civil matters into religious matter when the person has no religious problem, when the person never fight for any religious case? These people do not understand the law they practice in Nigeria. A learned judge will bring the issue of Sharia law into Nigerian court, which the Nigerian court, what they practice is civil law. The idea of saying or ruling that now the county should be tried in secret under Sharia law. It's not the county fighting for a religious uh, movement or 
a movement for self-determination, for independence of Biafra. So, Mr. James Osoro, if you look at all these things, I believe that this is a way they are trying to deny justice in this case. Exactly. So. Exactly. They want to deny justice because um, I think the second time um, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari made a speech when they were killing Christians in the north, when they were trying to, you know, expand their Sharia law into the northern areas, into the northern states of um, uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And then the Christians questioned it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Buhari answered? Buhari said, what is your headache about um, Sharia law in our, uh, our states? We are the people, we are the, uh, the Islams, and the Sharia law is for us. If any of us offend the, the Sharia law, or the, um, or yes, if any of us offend and we try the person by Sharia, we are trying our people, we are trying Muslims, we are not trying Christians, and if the person offended and found them uh, a criminal, the person will be what? They, they will, we will chop up the limbs, and the limbs we are chopping off is our limbs, not yours. So, what is your concern? about um, we making Sharia law in our religion, in our place. But it's now turning around that they are bringing Sharia law into the whole country and into the civil matters which shouldn't have been. And Sharia law in the constitution never had a room to be tried or to be used for civil matters. And I don't know where they bring that. I don't know where Justice Peter Nyako yes, uh, the, the, that the, thing. Yes, the fact is that Luna the the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, is championing a cause of self determination. Mm -hmm. As I said before, this is not for it's not a religious matter. Exactly. This is a matter of self determination, freedom, and independence of Biafra. Yes. But Justice Vita Nyako is saying that the leader of indigenous people of Biafra will be tried in secret on the Sharia law. Okay. So if you look at the whole thing, you understand that the, what they, uh, they want to do is to deny justice. Mm -hmm. What they want to do is to kill the leader of indigenous people of the Africa who committed no crime. No crime. So uh, uh, our audience should understand that Justice Peter Nyako has forgotten to understand the, the difference between Sharia law and the civil law. The difference between a case of self determination and a religious case. So um, the world should rise up and ask Ibinta Inyako a question What are you doing? Why are you messing up Nigerian court, Nigerian judicial system? Why are you messing it up? If you don't know what to say, if you know that the leader of indigenous people of Biafra is innocent, just as Ibinta Inyako has to say, Miss Anna Nekan, you are innocent. You are not the charge and acquitted, or you should go unconditionally. Are you getting me? Now, you are going to call him. Yes, um, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Moderator. You know, she knew that what Nandekano was doing was right. Of course. And she has ruled that the indigenous people of Biafra are legal. What they are doing is legal, which means Nandekano is right. Nandekano is right. Uh -huh. You are correct. And, and now, mm -hmm. uh, all the charges. She has do, done what? Dropped them off. I don't know the charges she is now, um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, she's now uh, trying to bring in into this very Sharia, whatever, yes. whatever they are trying to do. But um, in that case, however they want to do it, none they can. No. We never be tried in secret. Neither will he be tried never, by Sharia. Never, never, never. Yeah, the yeah, people of Biafra cannot allow that to that happen. happen. Yes. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra will never be tried in secret. secret. Neither yeah. will Sharia law. Neither will Sharia law because you know Muhammad Buhari had been threatening her. Do you understand? Trying to push her to act against the law of Nigeria. Yeah. Are you getting me? To act against democracy. Of course. Um, you me? Yeah, so, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Buhari, the president, mm -hmm. may try to do that to secure some positions in Nigeria or uh, to, you know, make sure that Biafra doesn't come. But the law has been there for Muhammad Bari. Mm. The constitution was there for Muhammad Bari was warning. Mm. So there's nothing Muhammad Bari can do about that. Mm. The only thing they can do is just to delay. And the delay that is there, but at the point, the delay that is will disappoint them. Mm. And then Biafra will surely come. Mm. And the point here is that um, Justice Peter Nyako said it, ruled that 
indigenous people of Biafra is a legal society. Yeah, of course. Are you getting me? Yes. That is to say that the leader of indigenous people of Biafra is legal. Yeah, that's right. And it's innocent. innocent. Yes. So what Nigeria has to do is to allow the leader of indigenous yeah, people of Biafra to go. go. What did they? And uh, allow the indigenous people of Biafra to have their freedom. freedom. Yes. So, and so, so, we, so we don't understand what they are trying to do. So we are using this opportunity to put it to you to understand that the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Nanda Kano, has never committed any crime against Nigeria or anybody in Nigeria. And the Nanda Kano will not be tried in secret. Nanda Kano will not be tried under Sharia law. What we say and what we demand is our freedom, the freedom of the people of Biafra. What we demand is our right. What we demand is to go back to the nation of our ancestors, and her name is Biafra. What we want is to free ourselves from the religious intolerance that we are seeing in Nigeria. Let me just bring this issue here. Okay. Nigeria was created by uh, the British people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. They put three nations together. All right. And these three nations, they have different value system. The value they share are different. Are you getting me? Yeah. The people, the Western Nigerians, Northern Nigerians, and the Southern Nigerians, or Eastern Nigerians, the people of Biafra, Eastern Nigerians, mm -hmm. the value they share are different. They have different value they share. By the virtue of being in one country, that is to say that every nation that make up Nigeria should tolerate other people's value. Mm -hmm. And the people of Biafra and the northern Nigerians have been killing the people of Biafra, forcing their own value. Are you getting me? And that is why I understand that that is why the Justice Binta Nyoko is, br is bringing the issue of Sharia. Law in a civil law. Thank you. Um, I, I want you to know this. You know, the so called constitution mm. was written by one man, of course. Yeah, correct. By one Abubak. Yes. Then, in that very constitution, because whenever you are writing an article or whenever you are writing something about yourself, mm. all right, mm. uh, you must make it nice. And you must in make it favor. favorable mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. and to your people. Yes. So um, while this Abu Bakr was writing this constitution, he never, it never occurred to him that we have a um, different value system, that we have um, three different nations that, that, make, up that, that make up Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know what he did? He forgot that... Um, we have our own religion, they have their own religion. Thank you very much, Mr. James Osorobi. Of course, so we are using this opportunity to call on Justice Pinta Nyako that we want justice in this case. If she cannot deliver justice, let her hands off the case. She can run away like the justice. So, this is the truth of the matter. Thank you for being with us. We are not mistaken about our belief in the era of humanity of Biafra, as a nation, as a people. So that everyone has the chance to succeed. We cannot be economically viable if we are not politically viable. Right. And political viability means complete and absolute independence. Every industry in Biafra land is shut down. Am I lying? Ceramic stone mine has closed down. Golden Green is closed down. Barrosa Oyo Green is closed down. Even for that, left a banner. Is that not correct? BZ has the whole gone. HSM is closed down. Eminent is gone. Have you ever asked yourself why they shut all these companies down? Somebody coming from Europe and without regard for your culture, your traditions, your way of life, saying you, 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 you are now in one country and your name is yeah. Nigeria. Right. There is something unnatural about it. Values.
values that the United Kingdom shares. And that is why, while we are leaving the institutions of the European Union, Atrocity and to commit against my people, and still we are struggling, fighting for survival. Oh gosh, can't you hear my cry? The best on the A, they have their freedom. The fishes in the rivers, they have their freedom. Freedom. Why can't 